So, what are the best streaming settings in OBS Studio? Well, that depends on your computer, and your internet connection. In this video, I'll give you some guidelines to help you determine the best streaming settings for your computer. Let's get started. First let's set up a profile. Go to Profile, then New. I'll title this, Best Streaming Settings. Then click OK. Next, go to Settings. We'll start with Video. Set your base resolution to the highest possible resolution. In my case, that's 1920 by 1080. The output resolution depends on your computer and internet connection. If you've got a high-end computer and a fast enough internet connection, you can go as 1920 by 1080. 4K is a bit overkill for a live stream, in my opinion. But, if your computer and internet can handle it, go for it. If you have a low-end computer, or a weaker internet connection, lower the resolution until the video looks smooth. Start with 1280 by 720 and work your way down. You'll need to adjust the video bitrate in the output tab as well, but we'll get to that in a bit. The video quality will be lower, but you'll be able to create a smoother viewing experience. If your output resolution is the same as the base, then you won't have to worry about a downscaling filter. If you are downscaling to a lower resolution, go with Bicubic. The FPS refers to how many frames there are, in one second. The most commonly used frame rates are 24, 30, and 60. The more frames you have, the smoother the video will be. But it also uses up more computer resources, and it'll require a better internet connection. 24 is commonly used in movies, so not really a good option for streaming or screen recordings. 30 is great for slow to medium paced videos that don't have a lot of fast movement. Like podcasts, church streams, webinars, etc. 60 will give you the smoothest experience, and it's great for fast paced videos. So sports, and video games. But keep in mind that it uses up more computer resources. 30 will suffice in most cases. Next, go to the audio tab. Most of the default settings can be left alone. The important part is to enable the correct audio sources. If you're capturing sounds from your computer, select the default desktop audio. Just keep in mind that you'll hear any sound that comes out of your speakers. So remember to mute any unwanted desktop sounds and notifications. If you're using an external mic, select it in mic and auxiliary audio. If you're using the audio from your camera, you won't need to select anything here. The audio will be included when you add the camera as a source. And before I move on to the output settings, I hope you're finding some value in this video. If you are, please give it a like. Now, back to the video. Now, let's go to output settings. Change the output mode to advanced. In the streaming tab, you'll first need to select the encoder. You have the option to use a hardware or software encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your computer, select the NVENC H.264 setting. This is the hardware encoder and will create the highest quality video. I don't have an NVIDIA card in this computer, so I'll pick the AMD alternative. If you have a low-end computer, select the software encoding option X264. The rate control can be left at CBR. Selecting the right bitrate could be tricky. It all depends on the output resolution and your internet connection. The higher the bitrate, the better the quality. But you'll also need a stronger internet connection. If you have a slower internet connection, lower the bitrate till you reach the recommended minimum. If it's still not looking good, lower the resolution in the video tab and play with the bitrate again till the stream is stable. Here are some guidelines to help you figure out what setting will work best for your stream. If you're streaming in standard definition, 852 by 480, set the bitrate to between 800 and 1200. If you're streaming in 1280 by 720, then set the bitrate to be 1200 to 1900. For 1920 by 1080, set it to 1900 to 4500. Set the profile to high. If you're streaming at a low resolution, like 640 by 360 or lower, you can set the bitrate to be between 350 and 800. Set the profile to main. The last thing left is to set the audio bitrate. You only need to adjust the bitrate for the selected audio track. For the low resolution streams, set the audio bitrate to 64. For standard definition, go with 128. And for HD 720 and 1080, you can go as high as 256. 
Click apply and OK. And you're done. All of the settings are now saved in the profile we created at the start of the video. You can see that I have another profile in here that's more suitable for recording. So make sure you're selecting the correct profile for the job. And if you haven't seen my last video on the best OBS settings for recording, check it out here. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.